Welcome to another exercise in the workbook statistics. This time I'm going to focus on an exercise on a normal distribution. Let's have a look at the exercise. The long distance flights of an airline are on average delayed by 3 minutes, with a standard deviation of 7.8 minutes. The delays can be seen as normally distributed. The last part is especially important because this already tells us here we're going to work with the normal distribution. Well, what's our task? The first task, what is the probability that a flight will not be delayed? Second, what is the probability that a flight will be reaching its destination between 5 and five, uh, 10 minutes earlier than expected? And at an airport on a workday, 400 flights start. How many of them will be delayed on average? Well, let's work through this step by step, starting with the first one. First one, as in that none of the flights are delayed. None of the flights delayed, this means that the delay should be zero or less than zero. Because, well, theoretically, a plane could be earlier. So we're going to calculate p of x being smaller or equal to zero. We also know from the exercise text, the average delay is three minutes and we have a standard deviation of 7.8 minutes. So in the first step, we're going to standardize to zero. We're going to subtract from the zero three and we're going to divide this by the standard deviation of 7.8. If we do this, we get as a result minus 0.38. The minus is a problem because this big phi here means we have to look this value up in the corresponding table for the standard normal distribution. In this table, however, we are only finding positive values or zero. So we need to get this positive and we can do this by more or less drawing the minus in front of this. This means we're going to replace this first part by one minus phi of, and then we're going to use the positive value of this one here. So replacing this by that one and look up to 0 0.38 in the table for the standard normal distribution. This table, we're going to find a value of 0 0.648. Subtracting this from the one, we get as an end result 35.2%. So there's a 35.2% chance that the flight will be on time, or in other words, will not be delayed. Well, that was already the first part. So let's carry on with the second one. In a second part, in part B, we're interested in the delay being negative because we said, well, it should be five to 10 minutes earlier. 5 to 10 minutes earlier, meaning there's a negative delay. This might look strange, but well, normal distribution can work with positive values, similarly as it can work with negative values. So here we are interested in minus 10 to minus 5 minutes delay. We're going to start in this case with the upper bound, which is minus 5, and we're going to subtract and then the probability of the lower bound. So it's always smallest value here, larger value here. We start with the larger value, then we go minus in the probability with the smaller value. We're going to use the same mean and the same standard deviation as before. And we just start by um, transforming the minus five and the minus 10. Transforming, standardizing, by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. This gives us for the first part, for the minus five, minus 1.03, and for the minus 10, minus 1.67. Well, we already know from part A how to um, work with the minus, how to get rid of the minuses here. We're simply going to replace the minuses by putting in front all of this a one minus. However, here, it just looks as one minus this part. We look up to 1.03, we get the 0 0.8485. But then we have the minus here. So we need to take this into account as well, giving us minus one plus the value we look up 
if we look up 1.67, we get as an end result 0 0.9525. Calculating this whole expression yields us as an end result 10.4%. So there's a 10.4% chance that a plane will arrive 5 to 10 minutes earlier. Well, that was already the solution to the second part, so we're left with only one part to go. And in the last part, what we are interested in is actually the delayed planes. So the planes where the delay is larger than zero. Well, we cannot work with larger or equal to, so we're using the counter probability here. We calculated this part in part A, that was the probability that a plane is on time. If we subtract this from 100%, we get actually the probability that a plane is delayed. Then we're going to multiply this with 400, 400 being the total number of planes starting at the airport. So we look up the value from part A, where here we get the 0 0.352, subtract this from 1, this part in the brackets gives us the chance of a plan, plane being delayed. We multiply this with 400, giving us as an end result 259.2. So somewhere between 259 and 260 planes on average will be delayed each day at this airport. Well, that was then already the answer for the third and final part, concluding the whole exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. I say goodbye and see you next time.